Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. And I'm Tom, and we're RV Texas, y'all. Today we're at Oak Thicket Park, which is another Lower Colorado River Authority Park. Yeah, so stick around while we show you around Oak Thicket Park. It's supposed to rain here in a little while, so we're gonna try to beat the weather and get in a quick little bike ride. So we're out on a multi-use trail today. There's a three mile hike and bike trail that goes from Oak Thicket Park to a neighboring LCRA park called Park Prairie. Three mile, it's a three mile trail. And Park Prairie is a smaller park even than Oak Thicket. It has tent camping only, uh, but it has a kayak put in area, some fishing areas and uh, more tent camping. So we're checking out the trail today to See how it goes. It looks to be in great shape trail wise. Yeah, so this trail here is one of only 2.1 trails <laughs> in the park because the other trail is a nature hike trail. And then the point one trail is the one that goes right behind our campsite. And it connects the, the RV camping loop with the uh, day use area. But the day use area being where the boat launch is where you can go swimming. Uh, and then the kids' playground is up there too. So during the weekend especially, there was quite a bit of traffic, foot traffic on that uh, trail because people were going back and forth to go swimming and boating and all that stuff. So, and the fishing pier is over there too. The main fishing pier is at the day use area. Of course, We'll show you the other fishing pier, and wow, if you were to catch a big fish on that one, I think you might be swimming with them. It was, it was a little crazy. So let's go enjoy a little more of this bike ride. Okay, so we're a little bit confused. <laughs> the trail map is part of the overall park map that the two parks share. And when you look at the map, it looks pretty simple. Uh, but we came to a fork in the road, so to speak. Uh, we took one fork and there was no signage and it looked to be the wrong 
well, way. So we came back, we went down the other way, we've come to another fork, still no signage. There are no forks shown on the trail map, so we don't really know where we're at at the moment or where we're going. And the storm looks to be coming in. So we're gonna turn around and go back. But before we do, let me tell you a little bit more about Oak Thicket. They do have uh, RV and tent camping, they have shelters, and they have cabins which have air conditioning and heating. What's interesting about the cabins is they're all different sizes and they're all named for Texas heroes, which is pretty cool. Looks like they're doing some renovations on the park right now and maybe adding some additional features, so that'll be interesting to watch. Uh, but overall, it's a very small park um, but very close to towns like Fayetteville, Round Top, and LaGrange. So if you're wanting to explore those areas, it might be an option for you. I just walked a little bit of the Rice Osborne Nature Trail. And yes, there is a trail there, and uh, they do have some signs telling you what some of the things are. But like so many things here at Oak Thicket, it looks like it could use a little TLC. Now we've heard they have a new management company that's recently come on board, so, and it looks like they're working to make a lot of changes within the park. So hopefully we'll see things begin to uh, get back to once they, what they once were. <laughs> okay, so we're in the tent and RV camping loop here. This is site one, and this site is very indicative of what all of the sites are very very shaded which that has been very nice we haven't even gotten out our uh, uh, magna shades because it's been so shaded we haven't needed them big plus but not exactly big for big rig friendly now maybe there's one or two sites in here that's big rigs could fit but i mean there's so many trees and stuff around the height is an issue too so you know we have some friends that have brought their pretty big rig in here before, and we did see one park next to us yesterday. They squeezed into that spot. And, uh, but for the most part, I wouldn't call it big rig friendly. Now, these have 30 and 50 amp, as well as water in all these sites, except for one. One of the sites, maybe it's this one, I don't know. One out of the 20, there's 20 sites. One out of the 20 only has 30 amp and water. And it does have a dump station. Now, however, that dump station is very small. Again, a big rig may have trouble in that dump station because it's, it's, a, it's a moon shape and there's not a big space at the top. I'm even concerned about us, so we'll see when we leave. But, but it's, the campground's been very, very nice. We, we have enjoyed our, our spot and it's been relatively quiet. Um, and and lo we love the shade. So, 20 spots, and uh, most of them 30 and 50 amps. One more thing, the bathrooms. They're, they, they appear to be relatively new, I mean, and they were okay, you know, out of five stars, we'd probably give it a three on cleanliness. Um, not the worst we've ever seen and definitely not the best, but usable. The, the uh, toilets are stainless steel, so obviously they can just go in there and spray them down, um, which was interesting to see, but um, yeah. And they're right there. So 
Welcome to our campsite here at Oak Thicket. This is site number 10. It's a 30 and 50 amp electric site with water. Um, we chose this site for a couple reasons. When we looked on the map, it looked like no one was going to be on our camping side. And number two, when we looked at it on Google Earth, it looked like it was going to have a ton of shade. And the shade is absolutely true. That has been phenomenal during the summer here. It's really kept us cool. The other part of it though was we weren't going to have anybody on our camping side. And while that is true, we have lake right next to us and we have the path that goes from the camping area to the day use area. Not a problem, except that Star kind of feels like that's her space, so she feels like anybody that walks on the path is coming to see her. So we've had to keep a close eye on her. Uh, we have in our site a lantern ring, a grill, a picnic table, and a fire pit. Now folks come to this, this park really to fish. This is known as one of the best bass fishing lakes in the country. This is Lake Fayette and it's on the uh, LCRA program, Lower Colorado River Authority, because the lake was built to cool the power plant, which is right across the lake from us. Now because of that, it keeps the waters warm, so I guess the bass must like that. But it also keeps the lake pretty churned up and moving. So for novice kayakers like us, uh, we didn't really feel like we wanted to attempt putting the, the kayaks in the, in the lake here. But we have seen people kayaking and boating and having a ton of fun. So if you're more experienced with the kayak, it could be a good place for you. Want to give a shout out to Austin, who's on staff here and really checked in on us and was a great source of local information. Thank you so much, Austin. We look forward to coming back in the future and seeing what goes on with this park as the new management has time to put into place some of the things they're working on. Until next time, y'all, thanks for joining us. Safe travels and happy camping.